Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add links inside of your Django templates. So this is a video from my course called Understanding Django. So if you wanna join the course, you can go to my website, prettyprinter.com, or you can click on the link in the description below to learn more about the course and possibly join it. So I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching. So let's say you wanted to include some links inside of your HTML. So you want to link to other pages in your app. So the most straightforward way to do it would be something like this. So imagine if I had a profile page. I can just put slash profile if that were the endpoint and I would be redirected there. However, that's not optimal. Instead, what I can do is I can make this dynamic. So by that, what I mean is first, let me create a new URL for the profile. So profile, and then I'll create a view called profile. And inside of this view, I'm going to return a template. So this is going to be examples slash profile.html. And I'll go ahead and create that here, profile.html. And this is the profile page. Okay, so if I save that and I go to slash profile, I can now see that. Pretty simple. And if I go to the link that I created, your profile, it takes me to the same page because I'm referring to it directly. But if I were to change this URL to my profile and then click on the link, I get a page not found. So one advantage of what I'm about to do is it prevents things from breaking when you change the URLs. So what I'll do to handle this is first I'll give this a name. So the name will be profile. And then inside of my index, instead of referring to profile directly, I'll use the URL keyword. So open bracket percent URL and then the name of the URL, in this case profile. And then close it out. So now when I do this, if I go to your profile, it shows me profile like that. If I change this URL to my profile, it updates the endpoint for me automatically. So that part is pretty straightforward. But another advantage of this is variables inside of the endpoint, so arguments that I can pass. So if I do something like this, stir, and then username, I can then pass a username to this view. So I'll go to views profile and I'll add a username variable there. And then what I'll do is I'll create a context and I'm simply going to pass that username to the template. So I'm not going to do anything with it inside of the view other than pass it to the template. So inside of profile, I want to say, this is the profile page for username using that variable, okay? So now if I go here and say slash Anthony, I see this is the profile page for Anthony. But if I want to pass that name through the link, I'll go back here. To do that, I simply add it after. So in this particular case, I don't have a variable. So what I'll do is go to views and here I'll create a variable or let's just use name. So name here is a variable that I already have, so pretty print it. So I'll pass that name to my URL keyword. So name just like that. And what this is going to do is it's automatically going to take that name, it's going to look for a place where it can place it inside of the URL, which is here, and it's going to update that for me automatically. So if I go here and then click on the link, it says this is the profile page for pretty printed. So as you can see, it took the name that I gave it and it sent it over to the profile because it knows that profile can handle an extra argument there. If I didn't have that extra argument, it wouldn't make sense, but because I do, I can. And if I had multiple arguments, then I would just put a space here and I can add more things to pass to the URL. 
But as you can see, this is much preferred over using the endpoint directly inside of the href attribute of the link. And when we get to the examples, you'll see me doing this a little more because it's, once again, a thing that's very common that you would do in pretty much any app. So all the things that I've covered in this section so far are things that are pretty much done in every single app that you create. So I just want to make sure I cover them because you'll be using them quite a lot.